Alright, g'day guys. So here we are inside a customer's vacation van. It's about 19 foot couples van. So we have just completed a full Victron off-grid system inside this caravan, which includes a MultiPlus 3000 with 1200 watts of solar. We've got a 620 amp hour battery in here. So this system is huge. It's got the capacity to run multiple appliances at the same time, run your air conditioner for extended periods of time. These guys really were keen on coffee machines and, and you know being able to run multiple appliances at the same time. So we've gone down the pathway of putting in a large capacity system for that purpose so that they can run pretty much anything like an off-grid tiny home. These guys are getting to the point of being ready to retire in the next few years. Um, so they were very keen on being able to have a system that would then be able to take them through into their retirement. They began talking to us again about six months ago so that they had um, an opportunity to get into our scheduling which means that we were able to sort of drill down on everything that they wanted to do. So this system, because of the size of van, had a few complexities in terms of roof layout that we needed to consider when we were doing the um, solar array on the roof. So what we've ended up doing is installing a thousand watts of uh, 200 watt panels onto one string and then we've included two 100 watt high voltage panels on the front slope of the van which gives them a 1200 watt array completely taking up the entire roof space because the other thing that we have installed on this particular van as well is a caravan dust suppression system so that takes up that rear corner uh, of the van so we we utilize an existing roof hatch to be able to install that there. So once we worked out where that caravan was gonna go, we then structured out the roof and made sure that we maximized the rest of the roof space. They've also got a uh, 20 amp MPPT, which is able to take in uh, roughly about 300 watts of solar portable so in total they would end up with roughly 1500 watts if that's what they wanted to do we've installed for them uh, the Orion XS50 which is the um, new Victron DC DC charger which allows them to charge at 50 amps from the vehicle whilst in tow plus obviously as we always talk about their rooftop solar is charging in conjunction with the DC DC charger, so potentially they're nearly getting 2000 watts of charge in whilst they're traveling, 1900 watts of charge in potentially, if everything is working at its optimal, which will obviously recharge this battery super fast. Uh, it's a Lifetech 620, which has a 300 amp BMS in it and has the capacity to take that charge from the chargers all in parallel no problems whatsoever. So we never run into any issues of, of um, charging too fast or you know discharging too fast. So we can run all of that system through that battery pretty quickly. So we'll just quickly have a look at the layout here. So with this van, uh, it has a um, cafe lounge set up. So two individual seats both seats had drawers in them so we've we've made the drawers redundant and we've installed on the on the front side uh, seat box we've got the 620 battery isolation and battery monitoring plus we've actually installed the inverter charger in that side as well which does two things it keeps the inverter charger separate from the other chargers which allows us to cool the system down through ventilation fans a little bit quicker and easier. Plus it also keeps the cabling nice and short. So we've only got a very short run of cabling between the battery and the inverter, which is super important from the perspective of um, minimizing volt drop in the system. 
In the other seat box, what we've got over here is the remainder of the system. So all of the fusing isolation, MPPTs, DC-DC charger. We've got another set of cooling fans over this side as well to keep this side cool. This van actually came originally with a projector PM335 installed into it and we've completely removed that from the system. Normally we would have a um, tie into that for the purpose of turning pump on, uh, doing tanking um, and DC distribution. The customer didn't want that. They wanted to be able to do everything through the Victron system. So we've completely removed that from the system and we've actually given them the ability to monitor their tanks through the Victron system. And as you can see, we've got our two fresh water tanks. The other thing that they can do through this system as well is they can turn their pump on and off through the system so that they have their water pump also available from their, um, from their touch screen. So we've obviously got all of our uh, switching capability here through the, the servo and the touch. Uh, and then we go back to the main page where we would monitor our battery through a Touch GX70. In this van also, what we've had to do is modify the 240 volt system. Mm -hmm. So in this van, we had to do a 240 volt modification to be able to manage the incoming and outgoing circuit breakers. So we've actually included in this one a PowerSafe Duo ESD for the outgoing circuit, which offers both earth leakage protection for current and earth leakage protection for voltage. So a little bit safer for this particular build. So once we had done that, it then redistributes through the van. So as soon as they turn their inverter on, they've got availability for everything. So we actually do have the ability to turn the aircon on through the inverter. So as you can see here, we've just switched the aircon on, the inverter is on. So with this system, these guys are now capable of running essentially everything that they want to be able to run so all their kitchen appliances their air conditioner which was super important to them and they can do that concurrently so they can run a couple at a time it's a really large system for a very small van which has been quite amazing to be able to get all this gear into this space and offer this client this particular amount of capacity so we're really actually very excited to do this handover today. Uh, we're looking forward to hearing about all their travels and, and when they actually get to retire. Anyway, guys, we'll leave it there. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.